here. We can begin with questions. If you have a question, please raise your hand. And Susie, go ahead. Hi, Phoebe. Um, I just wanted to ask, because I know you've um, been recovering from a, a back, back injury, and um, just curious, just what has that process been like for you, and um, what was it like to get your first minutes on Wednesday? Yeah, it was um, it was a hard three months, I'll be honest. Um, especially the way it all timed out, I kind of got sidelined right when the season was starting. So that's always frustrating, especially when I felt like I was playing well coming into the season. Um, and I just wanted to be able to show that, help the team out. And yeah, I, it was a long time to be out, longer than I think I've ever been out. Um, so mentally just dealing with that and pushing through and trusting that my body's working for me, not against me, um, was definitely a little bit of a coming to Jesus moment there. I had to give myself a little bit of forgiveness and kindness. So, um, but to that point, it was so great to be able to get back out on the field. I really can't express how excited I was to be able to play again. I feel a little emotional right now just because I'm so, so happy to be able to play again. Thanks, Susie. And then Ayush, go ahead. Hi, Phoebe. Congratulations on coming back. Thank you. Um, it's really great to have you back. And my question is, can you give some tips for the younger soccer players out there on how to come back from an injury like this and how fulfilling it is to come back on the other side? Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, every injury is different, so I think you just have to trust your body and, and listen to what your body's saying. I think additionally being proactive about that um, was definitely not always one of my strong suits and something that this injury has taught me is so important is just making sure you're getting the treatment when you need it um, and just asking for help leaning on other people we have such a great organization here and so many people who want to help you and if you're not willing to ask for that help you're not going to necessarily get it um, and I think you have to take accountability in that and really um, be on on the front end of that um, and then yeah, the payoff is everything that they say it is. It's, it's so, it feels so good. It is such a weight off of your shoulders. And um, to be in an environment where coming back, I really feel like I can be myself um, and really give my whole self to the game again, where I've been in a position where I've had to limit myself for so long now, it's so freeing and so exciting. Thanks, Ayush, and then you can ask your second question. Uh, thank you so much, Phoebe, for that that answer. And then a follow-up question is, now that you're back, um, can you share with us your goals for the second half of the season? Um, I think my goals, pretty straightforwardly, are to impact this team in the largest capacity that I can. Um, you never know how the season's going to go. And um, I, I just want to be putting myself in the best position to do the most that I possibly can to help this team win a championship. And that's where my sights are set right now. Thanks, Ayush. And then Susie, go ahead. I'm just going to follow up. And uh, you've now had a chance to, to be with the rain for a year and a half. And just uh, wanted to know just what has the overall experience been for you um, to join this club? Yeah, it's been. Um, Certainly a transition, moving from East Coast to West Coast, uh, the first time I'm living this far from my family, the majority of them anyway. Um, and then also the soccer, it's, it's so good. The quality and practice is so high, the expectation, um, and the expectations around consistency specifically is so high and is, I think, so beneficial to every player that gets into this environment. Um, it's also extremely competitive, which is something that I really appreciate and I really thrive on, I think. Um, so for the most part, it's been positive with the exception of the injury, but what are you gonna do? Um, and to be honest, as weird as it sounds, I'm happy that I was injured here of all the places that I could have been. Um, it's, it's a really special place to be. Thanks, Susie. And then Steven? Hi, Phoebe. Kind of to follow up on that, I wanted to ask you, you're coming back into the team at a very opportune time, just as a lot of players are leaving for the World Cup. So I wonder if you could talk a little bit about kind of the, the, the depth of the team and the, the you know expectation next player up and being prepared for kind of this next 
group of games where you're going to need to be stepping in a lot more. For sure. Um, it definitely is an opportune time of the season to come in. Uh, to be able to get game minutes while I'm coming back from an injury is huge. It's almost like of unparalleled importance. It's, it's so important to be able to find that comfortability back uh, again on a game field as opposed to just a practice field. Um, and I think our depth is amazing. I think that we have so many young players who are stepping up in such a big way right now. I think Alyssa Melanson had one of the best games um, I've seen her have since she's been with the Reign this past game. Um, and I'm just so impressed with everybody. I think that we have a lot of grit on this team. We have a lot of will to win. And everybody that is here right now recognizes the opportunity that's in front of them and are being very eager to take that opportunity. And it shows. Thanks, Steven. And then we'll take one more from Susie. Hi, uh, just one more for me. I was just uh, looking at the game tomorrow um, in Louisville. I'm, I'm curious, just um, as you think about <clears throat> what you all have to do defensively to stop them, what are some things that um, are on your mind for this week? Yeah, I think um, being on the front foot from the first whistle is definitely huge. This is our home field. Um, we always want to make a point to make a statement that this is our home and that we protect our home. So I think the first 10 minutes of this match is going to be incredibly important. Um, apart from that, I think organization's huge. They're going to try and likely attack us on the counter. Um, so if we're organized and communicative and we know the game plan going in, then I think that'll help us a lot. But we have all of the ability in the world to be any team on any given day. Um, so it's just coming with the right mindset and the right um, mentality in that it, it's a must win. Every game's a must win. All right. Thanks, Susie. That'll be it for questions. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys.